guys, it's Candy, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna share with you what's in my pantry. So right here, I'm in my kitchen in front of my pantry door, and I just wanna show you guys my door first because I just love it so much. The carpenter built this for us. Ken bought that uh, railing thing there from a hardware store, and then he built this out of the same planks that we used in our ceiling on our front and back porch, and then we stained it a gray color from Sherwin-Williams. I'll look up what the color is and I'll put it on text on the screen because I kind of forget right at the moment. And then we got this handle here from Menards. What are you doing? Chase is in my pantry apparently. All right, so this is an overview of what the pantry looks like when you walk in. We have all shelves here so basically what we did is we had a company come in and do all of our closet organizers throughout the house and these were just kind of shelves that we could kind of customize and design to fit exactly what we wanted in here pretty much they're just shelves except we do have a couple drawers and then these baskets actually slide out and we made sure we made space at the top to be able to put stuff up there and then also space on the bottom here to slide stuff underneath there. Um, if you followed along on Our Family Nest, all of our videos when we were building our house and going through the whole construction process, you might recall that the shelves here on this end we changed because the first time we had them installed, they were the same size shelves of, as these, and I believe these are 18 inches, and they just stuck out way too far, and then it just made like, they would have stuck out like this much farther and then it was like you couldn't get to any of these back shelves so we wanted to utilize as much space as we could on this wall and so then we had these shelves basically they had to take them down start all over and these are only i think seven inch shelves and we knew we were going to use this like for canned goods and stuff like that so now to the part that i thought would be fun is i just want to share with you guys what kind of stuff we keep here in our pantry not only do we keep food we keep a lot of like small appliances and stuff like that so i'm just going to kind of go through and show you everything and some of it i'm sure is going to seem kind of weird but up here we actually have our dogs uh flea and tick medication because i just wanted to keep that up high so the dogs don't get a hold of it if uh actually it was down here at one point and i'm like okay that's not a good idea we better put it up high so we have some lemonade and coffee so this is kind of like the beverage shelf we have coffee for our um keurig we have some chocolate powdered milk stuff some strawberry syrup uh, country time lemonade kool-aid that sort of thing on the shelf here we have like pastas and soups so mac and cheese tuna helper the soup is amazing cream potato soup um, some rice potatoes pasta some more rice stuff like that <clears throat> and then this next one is kind of like condiments and sort of a mixture of things peanut butter, cocktail sauce, Andrew would die without his Frank's hot sauce, uh, here's some more peanut butter, uh, Olive Garden dressing, taco sauce, uh, barbecue sauce, that sort of stuff, and then in here, this was kind of nice to just have a container, um, I really like because you can just put all your little envelopes of different things that uh, you don't want to get lost here in your pantry. On the next shelf we have where we start our canned goods. You'll see all kinds of like tuna, oh, all the kids little popcorn flavoring things that they have, uh, more, more chicken sauce, some salsa, soups, parmesan cheese, oh looks like we have two of those, move that one up there. Next one we have tons of canned vegetables, pretty much anything you can think of. Uh, gravies oh my goodness guys look what I just found another parmesan cheese OMG Blake was the one who made me buy this the other day and look at now we have three of them and then the very bottom shelf soups and it looks like Carly's slime supplies down here on the bottom so we'll push those over to the side soups and stuff over here and then up here on the top, we'll start here in the corner. We have a huge bag of croutons. We have some stuff to make sushi, uh, some Splenda, vinegar, coffee filters, straws, 
all my recipe books, some paper bags, an old crack pot that I've had for probably 25 years. And then we have my deep fry. We have a really small, tiny crack pot that I just got recently. And I love it. It's perfect for like dips and stuff. And then another coffee maker over there and some bottles of wine. All right, we have our waffle maker. We have my really big crock pot. We have some coconut oil and tons of like jello and pudding mixes. These containers here that are empty. We keep all of our like paper plates and stuff here. Plastic silverware, that sort of thing. What else? Oh, these I bought the other day. No one's eaten them yet. They're like perfect for one. You cook them in like a little coffee mug and put them in the microwave. There's a brownie one and a confetti cake one. Those are for when you're having sugar cravings. Um, let's see. Our Starbucks cups from when we made the unicorn drinks here at home. We saved those in case we ever make any other copycat Starbucks drinks. Those are on the Our Family Nash channel. Uh, dog bones, cat food, little mini things of mac and cheese that Carly just had to have. We keep our cereal in these containers and I love them so much. Um, some, here's all the kids junk, muffins, brownies, pop tarts, marshmallows for s'mores. This cookbook here is my great grandma's. So I treasure that and keep that packed there so it doesn't get ruined. Um, here we have all of Andrew and Blake's like protein and the whatever drinks he makes when he works out. Here we have a hand mixer and then I keep my baking goods here like sugar and flour and brown sugar in those plastic containers and that's really nice as well. And then here's kind of like some more baking supplies, some more tuna, apparently more dog bones. I'm going to move those up here with the rest of them. And let's see. Now you guys are gonna catch me organized in my pantry. Um, more baking stuff, frosting, cookie mixes, cake mix, stuff like that. Down here we have a ton of freezer bags, and then this is for the like a bullet. It's like a little mixer thing to make like milkshakes, energy drinks, that sort of thing. Do you guys keep this stuff? We keep this container of all like sauces and things like that from like McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, whatever. Barbecue sauce, sweet and sour sauce. Here we have a backup of more peanut butter, ketchup and ranch. Things we use a lot. Oh, this barbecue sauce, I'm going to move that over there. Because here we have some more of the kids treats, some Oreos cashews, some bagels, some graham crackers and chocolate, some different flavored crackers, tons of oatmeal, muffins, cookies, crispy treats, and then this drawer here, we actually have tons of just like little snack things you can grab on the go. And then in here is where we keep like plastic wrap, Reynolds wrap, freezer bags, small sandwich bags. Down here we keep garbage bags and some noodles and then in these baskets they all have like baked goods in them food coloring cookie cutouts and then same thing when you come down here tons of stuff here to make cake pops more baked goods and things down here and more down here and i find it so much easier to just kind of keep them organized in baskets and then on these pull out bins here we have little small bags of skinny pop we keep our bread products down here on the bottom one this is where we keep like all the chips some more things down here ken bought those from casco the other day we bought that from casco but we haven't opened it yet actually this bench fits in here perfectly slides out because i cannot reach that stuff up on the very top and then another crock pot and some plastic silverware way there in the back corner. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my little pantry tour there. I just thought it would be fun to share with you 
what we keep in our pantry and I try to keep it pretty organized and obviously well stocked with the kids goodies so you guys will have to let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this I could show you what's in our refrigerator I know I want to do a kitchen tour like a tour of our whole kitchen and everything that went into designing the kitchen and probably like a master bedroom tour and I know if you guys aren't already subscribed to our family nest be sure you go there where we have a playlist with all of our like house building process videos and also my daughter's channel Carly Reese she's gonna be posting her bedroom tour here shortly we just want to get kind of like some more decor and stuff in her room so thanks guys for watching I really appreciate it make sure you subscribe check out the links to our other channels down in the description below make it a great day and I will see you guys next time bye